In this video, you're going to learn how to use an attach track to point constrain a banana to Lola's hand and then how to let it go and knock over a camera. So get ready. Let's go. So I brought in our character here from Mixamo, Lola, with the throwing something cycle. Let me show you that. So if you go over to Mixamo.com, grab your character, grab your animation you want, and then bring it back over here into Unreal. If you're unfamiliar with that process, then why don't you hop over to another one of my videos? Uh, this one here that has the uh, policeman running from Mixmo and then into a scene. Send Mixmo characters and animations to Unreal Engine. If you don't know how to do this, I highly recommend you uh, go watch that. It's uh, really useful for stuff like this. So back over here again, brought in Lola into my sequencer, hit play to see what her cycle is. and. I've kind of already posed some bananas there in place for her to be able to grab one and throw it. So I have a particular hero banana right there. Whoops, not right there, right there, which she's going to grab. So let's come in a little closer here. Oh, I'm looking through the camera just a minute. So let's come in to our hero banana. And there it is right there. So the idea is, of course, she comes down. And let's work through the cycle here. She comes down grabs the banana and right here we want it to uh, stick to her hand right so we're going to go through a few different things you need to be aware of for this whole process but it's actually easy once you know how to do it like anything in life right so what we need to do for the banana is add it to our sequencer so let's go back grab our hero banana and we're going to add the hero banana to the sequencer and right now it has a particular transform on it and what we want it to do is use what's called an attach track in Maya you have a point constraint so it's kind of the same idea you're animating a constraint system so what we want to have happen is right about let's say she comes down puts her hand at right about there when it right before it starts to come up right so again the, i'm not worried about the particulars of this i'm not an animator i'm just showing you how this tool works but i do want to make it decent at least so the hand comes down let's go frame by frame and let's say right when it starts to come up we would expect the banana to be in place here and maybe here but after this frame it should start going up with the hand right so i'm going to say from here forward i want it to stick to the hand now there's a few things we'll talk about in this process so there's a few layers here so let's start first with the basic concept of an attached track so it's the banana that you want to attach to something else so what you're going to do is click on the add a track button for the banana and you're going to go to attach and i've changed this value here to preserve current the reason I've done this is I want the banana to stay where it is when I attach it for this frame to the character. I'm going to come back and make some changes, but if you don't, it's going to kind of jump off funky and weird, and then you'd have to zero out the transforms, which, which you can do. If you want the object, when it touches whatever you're constraining it to or attaching it to, to stay in its same position, you want to flip your switch here to preserve current. So pretend I just did that from yours that says none, right? So then I'm going to come back here again. I didn't do anything yet. All I did was go to attach and change this setting. But now when it's set to preserve current, you're going to tell it you want to stick to something. So I want it to stick to, in this case, Lola. And you might have Lola sitting right here because she's already in the sequencer. But uh, if you don't see something in there, you can go find it here. But here's Lola and I want it to stick to Lola. Then it's gonna say, what bone do you want it to stick to? Now we're gonna to have to fix something, but I'm just showing you the basics first. So this is close to her right hand, right? So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna click on her right hand. And that is now gonna stick with this exact position, this exact offset in world space. It's gonna to stick now to the hand. So let me advance a few frames forward. And now you see the banana is stuck to her hand and let's zoom out just a little bit and it's it's meh, it's okay but it's technically not sticking in the right place and if i come in here a little bit more and oftentimes what you're going to want to do is have the object stick exactly to an exact point and what that would mean is now you'll oh also see how it put a keyframe here it put a keyframe on the transform track because when you told it to attach with the preserving that offset, then 
it it calculated where that position is for you and set it relative to your attach point. So your attach point, remember I said it was the right hand. So I'm going to come up a little bit. The right hand joint is somewhere about here. And we've set up a parent relationship here. When we added that attach track, it put the hero banana underneath Lola. Lola became the parent of the banana. And at that position that we chose, which was the right hand. Let me go ahead and come now here to this XYZ value and zero it out. And the banana is going to pop to where it is parented to, which in theory is what you want. You want your, in this case, you want your object to stick exactly where you want it to because if you start rotating and moving your object around, you, you want it, you want to have a little more control over where the banana is sticking to. The catch is we don't want it to stick to the wrist, right? And we don't have any joints we might have a finger joint that's kind of close but even then it's not the exact same position so what we need to do is we need to go over what's called adding a socket and it's kind of like adding a floating joint but it's not a joint it's just a place where you can attach something like this because we want maybe in the center of the palm of her hand an attachment point which is what is called a socket and you do that in the skeleton so let's pause for a moment first make sure you understand what I've done so far I took the banana and I attached it to the wrist because that was the closest thing I had. But let's make something even better. So backing up a little bit, let's go to the content browser, go to wherever you have Lola and open up the skeleton. So I'm going to double click, open up the skeleton. And here we have, doo -doo 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 -doo, where's the right hand? Here is our right hand. And I'm going to go to character, bones, all hierarchy so that I can see the whole skeleton. And so if I want the banana kind of in the palm of her hand, not really at the knuckles and not here at the wrist, I want it to stuck somewhere more in the middle. I need to add, and it's a piece of cake. All you gotta do is select the bone that's kind of the closest parent bone that you would want, right click and choose add a socket. When you do that, it's gonna create this item. So here's the right hand and then underneath it hierarchically, you'll see it says right hand socket. So what that does right now, it's in the exact same position, but I can select it, use the move tool, and I can move that to a slightly different position. So I can move this to the center and let's visualize the socket. So if you go to character bones and turn on socket, it's just really a locator. Where's that little guy? Come here, you. So you see this little diamond in there, kind of this little diamond. Well, let me move it out of the way that and you can see the the line here connecting it to the wrist because that's the parent this it's basically like you're making another bone but it's not a bone it's just an attachment point but it's kind of like a bone so I'm gonna put it for the moment right here in the middle of the hand now I don't want to just deal with trial and error and set it go back and check in the scene and come back here and adjust it a little bit what I want to do is let's bring the banana in here so I can see where the banana is going to line up. So on the socket itself, I'm going to right click and choose add a preview asset. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type banana. And I'm going to grab my static mesh from the content browser. All right, so here is the banana. And what you can also do is you can orient your socket to hold it the way that you want it to hold the banana as well. So let me jump back for a second. How do I have, she's picking it up with it, fit the curl of the banana, just the way I already have the banana setting there is kind of going into her fingers as well, right? So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna choose the socket. And this is just for preview. You, you don't get to keep the banana here. Um, it's just for us to see. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna rotate the socket, right? So when her fingers are curled, and the palm is there, it's maybe, you know, and I, I have an even better way for us to preview this in a second. It's still a little like too embedded in her palm, right? So let's say maybe it's here, but it's kind of hard to tell because her, her pose has her hands straight out and in our scene, she has curved fingers and such. So what you can do, you can preview the specific animation for this character and then keep refining your socket position. So if you, Go over here, you know, sometimes you might have to click around to see which tab is the one you need. In this case, it's this one here, Asset Browser. Double click on the actual animation cycle, and that's gonna 
put it into action, right? So what's happening is her hand is doing what it's doing. What I want to do is stop somewhere and zoom in here and see how this is lining up in her hand. I could, if I want, I can actually come closer to where she picks it up because that's about what we want to know what it is like, right? So come over here and let's see, what do I think is a natural place for her hand to be? Now I'm also going to turn the bones back off because now they're kind of getting in the way. So select it only. So now the banana, if I want to alter how it's going to attach to the hand, I need to go grab the socket again and adjust the socket's orientation so that, and you can switch if you need to between world space and local space, whichever helps you better. So I'm going to adjust a little bit there, maybe rotate a little bit there because when she picks it up, I think it's more like that. So what we're adjusting is basically the socket's orientation right now. And position if we wanted to I could also come back to the move tool and offset where it is a little bit right so if I want to hold it about there now the hand pose may not be perfect for holding a banana like does the thumb go under it or over that and that's something you can fix in animation all this is fixable things depending on how much detail you want to deal with I'm just showing you how to add a socket and how to um, preview attaching something to it so let's say this is good enough let's go through a few frames so picks it up it's still moving Let's see it closer to the throw. So let's come in here. Closer to the throw, she's still holding it. You can animate this offset as well if you need to. It's actually the banana's transform is what you can offset relative to the socket. You wouldn't animate the socket, you would just animate the transform relative to the socket of the banana. But anyway, let's just assume she's not sliding it around in her hand the whole time. She's just grasping it and holding on to the banana, getting ready to throw it. So I think it's looking pretty good, like it's aligning fine. You'll notice it rotates with the, uh, the joint or the socket as well, so it keeps its orientation in the hand, so that's nice. So we'll say this is fine, all right, save. Once we save that, we are going to go back and reset the socket uh, to, to be the thing that is used and not the wrist itself. So let's see, I can ditch the skeleton, I can ditch this animation cycle. Let's go all the way back to our uh, sequencer. So right now this is constrained to the right hand, which is not what we want. We want it to stick instead. So let's kind of start the process over. Because you, you may have put the socket in before you did this. I did it the way we did it to show you what happens if you don't have a socket and why you need a socket. So let's, I'm going to ditch that key. I'm going to ditch this animation. Let's ditch this key. Oh, and I have one at the end. So I'm just kind of backing up to where I started. Okay. So getting rid of all the keys. So pretend you're back at the beginning, you already added your socket and everything was in the right position here. So you come through here, uh, click, 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 click. And this is the frame. Maybe this is the frame where I want it to start sticking and then moving after that, right? Because the fingers are going to push it away. So this is the frame where I want the attach to begin. Uh, I do the same thing again. Uh, I, I can delete this is there's nothing here so I just delete that and then going back to the beginning attach don't forget to make sure you say preserve current if you want the banana to stay on this frame right there otherwise it's gonna potentially pop somewhere and stick it to Lola this time you'll see there is a right hand socket that's the one we made we could have renamed it if we wanted and called it like banana attachment point but I'm just gonna leave it called right hand socket all right, it put a key here because now that is a keyed position. We don't have any keys before it, so that's fine. But at this point, it keys the value of the banana. And so this is a relative offset from the, uh, the actual socket point. So this slight offset. So what I would do in this case is I, I don't want it to have an offset through the whole thing. So I might pop in a few frames, just pop in a few frames. Because see now it's kind of already maybe a little off because of the this offset. So I'm going to hit the, and that was a quick slide of hand during a full animation that nobody would notice. So I'm going to hit this reset button. All right, now it actually is popped up 
into the socket. There's no, so this value here, this zero, 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 that is the parent child offset and there is none. So it is, its pivot point is now snapped to the socket, which is where we put the socket. So all is good. Okay, so I think the front half of this animation is going to be good. The socket is working. So I'm gonna pick up the banana, click, click, click. All right, she's picking up the banana. She is, see, it's pivoting with her hand as she pivots as well. Right, so the, the rotation of the banana follows the rotation of the socket all the way through. She's all going off to throw it. Oops, my little thing's hanging up there. Um, I don't know why it drifts separate, but don't worry about it because the banana is in the hand and that's what we care about. Just the uh, manipulators doing a wacky thing. So, but let's talk about what we do at the other end. At the other end, we want her to let go of the banana eventually. We don't want her to keep holding on to the banana, you know, he's spiking the banana into the ground. So there has to be a point where we release the banana. So I think this frame might be a perfect release point. So let's say on this frame, I want to know this banana's position because I'm going to let go of it from the attach and I need to know where it is so that I can set it there in world space. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here to this location field because you're going to say, wait, it's zero, zero, zero. What is its actual position in space? Switch this to world for a second, right click and copy that, then switch it back to relative. Okay, so now it's still, banana's still working, but we have on the clipboard that particular value. And if you click away and click back, at the manipulator pops back there again. I don't know why it does that, but it's just a little funky. So now all we need to do is let's drag the attach track to the point where we want it to let go. All right, so now the banana has been let go. If you go back one frame, it's there in the hand. If you go to the next frame, it's disappeared. It didn't disappear. Where'd it go? It went to zero, 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 because that is the transform value that we have set on the banana way back at this point. So it is still staying at zero, zero, zero. When it was parented to the hand socket, it was in the middle of the palm, but now it is at world zero, 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 because it doesn't, it's not parented anymore, which is why we copied the value before we let go of it so we know what it is. But before you do it, or you can do this after, um, I'm gonna go back a frame, because remember, we're, we're looking at the transform of the banana here. I'm gonna go back one frame, and I'm gonna set a key here. So that it's at zero, 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 and then on the next frame, it's going to let go of the hand and go not to world zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna right click, and paste. And then now the banana comes back to where it was, but it's technically no longer attached to the hand. So now if I continue through, the banana is going to stay in space. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Come here, come here, hero banana. So let's zoom in a little bit here, see what's going on. So I'm going to back up a few frames. So remember this frame, it's attached. This frame, it is not attached because we ran out of attach. We, we told it to stop, and that's why when we keep going with the animation, the banana just hangs in space. From here, it's up to you to just animate your banana doing whatever you want your banana to do when she lets go. It can throw, it can spin, it can tumble around, right? You, you all know how to do a plain old animation. So let's, for example, do I have auto key on? Yes, so, so let's just say she threw it straight. It goes off that way. So I'll come back here and click, click, click she let go oh it's going really slow so uh yeah you'd, you'd want it to go a little faster than that but that is for you to do in determining what kind of animation you want on your banana once she lets go of it okay so in summary there was a lot of processes and a few different steps but once you understand the overall concept it's not going to be that big of a deal for you the attach track is how you attach an object to, in this case, a character's bones. And if there's no perfect bone for it, then you can go into the character skeleton, right? Go into the character skeleton like we did, go into where you want to place a bone, pick the closest parent, which in our case was the right hand, and we added a socket. We right clicked and chose add a socket. 
this made the socket and then to put in the preview banana we right clicked on that added a preview asset and then went browsing for the banana and then you would have the banana in the hand like we do here okay the banana is again just for preview so you can see it and while you were here to QC again you would double click here and you can see how the uh, attach is working okay I think that'll do it for this one the again it's all about the attach track right here just don't forget if you need it to change this to preserve current otherwise you're gonna be chasing your banana all over the place that was a lot why don't you take a break and watch this stop-motion animation by my son Dexter it's actually pretty good if you subscribe to his channel I'll make a lot more videos all right, if you have any questions or better suggestions of how to do this, like, like anything in Unreal, there's five other ways to do this. This is just a way that seems pretty uh, quick and easy to do. So that's why I wanted to show you. All right, cheers, y'all.